Welcome to Chemistry Lover and here I am with another video and in this video I will be talking about a very important question and very important topic so uh, we will see whether C's 1 to dimethyl cyclohexane is optically active or not so our question is will C's 1 to dimethyl cyclohexane be optically active or not we will see that now uh, before commenting on the optical activity of any compound we should know whether the molecule is chiral or not because if a molecule is not chiral it is achiral then it will not be optically active this is as simple as that so first we need to know whether this molecule is uh, chiral or not now for that we need to look into the structure of the molecule <laughs> okay so this is the structure of the molecule C is 1 to dimethyl cyclohexane and uh, in the structure um, if we want to see whether uh, it is chiral or not we have to uh, look into the molecule and we have to find out whether any symmetry element which can destroy the chirality of of a molecule is present in the molecule or not so for that we have to ask two questions first is we have to ask whether the molecule contain any uh, plane of symmetry because plane of symmetry will destroy the chirality but uh, if we look into the molecule there is no plane of symmetry and the second question is whether the molecule is having any kind of uh, point of inversion and here also the molecule clearly does not ha have any uh, point of inversion so uh, these two symmetry elements which can destroy the chirality of a molecule is absent in the molecule so the molecule would be chiral now we can expect that the molecule will show optical activity because it is chiral but interestingly the molecule doesn't show optical activity now this is uh, something confusing and as well as interesting so what may be the reason uh, to find out the reason we have to look into the flipping of this ring because cyclohexane ring can easily flip and if uh, two structures um, which is formed after flipping if they are uh, same in energy then this flipping will occur very easily now this is the flipping of this molecule so molecule 1 will flip to give molecule 2 uh, basically two these two are two different conformation of the same molecule but because conformation is changing so we designate it by molecule 1 and molecule 2 so upon flipping molecule 1 we get molecule 2 now this structure of molecule 2 is very important uh, if we closely look into the structure of molecule 2 this is actually same as this molecule how we can get that so if you just rotate molecule 2 by 120 degree along the vertical axis which is shown in the picture you will get uh, that molecule and that molecule is very much uh, interesting because if you look carefully it is actually the mirror image of molecule 1 so whatever we are getting after flipping molecule 1 is actually the mirror image of molecule 2 and these two are enantiomer of one another so molecule 1 is enantiomer of its flipped version and that's why this flipping is occurring in the room temperature very simultaneously and very rapidly so you will get a 50 50 mixture of these two and that means the optical activity of molecule 1 is totally cancelled by that of molecule 2 because molecule 2 will show same magnitude of optical activity but in different direction right and that's why this molecule will form a racemic a racemic mixture so it will form a racemic mixture or racemate and that's why uh, its optical activity will be zero it will not show any optical activity so although the molecule is chiral but uh, because it exists as a racemate it, it does not show any optical activity so this problem is very important i hope this video will help you if you want more videos like that then subscribe this channel and thank you for watching